Hello everybody, Sterile Prophet here, and today we're going to be playing Night Slink, or Night Slink, I think it's Night Slink, uh, by Noise Minded, uh, indie horror game, uh, available on Steam, I'm not sure if it's on Itch or not, but I know it's on Steam because I got it on Steam. Uh, I, I've heard just positive things about this, I haven't, <clears throat> I don't know anything else besides, uh, you're a, uh, I, you're a courier that delivers audio tapes to noise junkies. Uh, that, that's, that's everything I know about the game. Uh, but, but I've heard some good things about it, just positive feedback. So we're just going to hop into it and see what this is all about. Night Slink does not have a save feature. It must be completed in a single sitting. All right. Okay. Let's see. Take a look around. Ooh. 768896. Okay. Okay, I'm in an apartment building. I right, got a tape. Okay. Let's go 76 is going to be the first one we get to, so let's go to 76. need to go to 88. Knock on a couple of these other doors, see what happens. Okay. Alright, I'm not going to do that anymore. Uh, so far, I, I, I like the way it looks. Uh, I've said before, I really like this lo-fi, PS1-esque looking trend in horror. Uh, I mean, don't get me wrong, I, I'm all for something that, that looks nice, right? But, and I'm not saying this doesn't look nice, but I'm all for like the fan... Oh, I saw that. There was a guy. There was someone right over there. I saw it. Corner of my eye. I know I saw somebody. I know I saw something. Okay. But uh, I'm, I'm all for this trend. I mean, I like a, a flashy, fancy-looking thing, right? But uh, um, I, I really like this this look. I think, hmm, if I saw a guy, where the hell did he go? Because I swear he would have been, like, right here if I saw him. Unless he dipped out of one of these doors. Like, maybe he was in this door and dipped inside real quick. Or I'm just seeing things and I'm full of shit, right? All right, here's 86. This is the next one, right? No, 88 is the next one. Oh, there's somebody. Maybe that's who I saw. I can't talk? Nope. Okay. Who's this? It's who is it? And then, and the other. There we go, that's the two, and the That's the other. As if there was something to learn about business from the nerds and people. Alright. So we, we did get confirmation that's Night Slink, because the guy said it. I wonder what this guy's just doing, chilling. Like, you don't want to talk? He can't talk to you? Okay. I got one more tape for 96. Um, but like I was saying, I, I think this aesthetic holds is, is really good for horror. 
Uh, so uh, I'm glad to see games using it. Wait, was that it? This is really weird. Hmm. All right, so that's definitely a microphone cable that's going on the other side of the door. And he's recording something for these for these tapes that these sound junkies like to listen to. Uh, I wonder what that is. Okay, we got more tapes this time. 76, 83, 85, 88, 96. Okay. 76. We were there before. It's right over here. Okay, that's that guy from before.
for it. 88, 96 again. 96 was the one with the baby. And this guy's just sitting down here, minding his own business. Alright, and then 96. That dude. Is that blood, like blood stains on the carpet? I really like I really like the voiceovers. Like I like the work. <clears throat> I really like Okay, now we're back here. I, I really like the voiceover. Uh, the, the way they're doing the voices, they got that staticky, you know, like like maybe they're being affected by listening to all the noise. Like, I think that's a really neat... I, I, I'm guessing that that might be what the idea is, but I like it. Like, I, I think it sounds really cool. Let's make some more tapes. I'm super, uh, I gotta eject. This is super interesting though, like, I have absolutely no idea what's going on, um... I... Yeah, it's, it... <clears throat> it's neat. I know it's short. So we might not actually have a whole lot left. But I'm just curious to see where it goes. I keep expecting to look up, and there's like someone standing right there or something, but nah, not today. Okay, and that's it. Oh, three. Those are Roman numerals. Oh, I thought it was a, um... I guess they're Roman numerals. I thought they were, uh... When you saw the first eye... When you saw the first... Like, I guess they're eyes. When I saw the first eye, I thought it was like a door. Like, in the distance with the baby crying. And then for... what I guess it's chapter two. I thought you were just a little bit closer, so the door seemed a little bit bigger. But this time I see that it's actually chapter three, so... And this looks different. This is darker. It's like it's grungier. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, there's something diff- something's- it's definitely grungier. Uh-oh. Sorry, dude. the customers are consistent. They all like their... Oh, that actually made me startle a little bit. <laughs> the paper popping out maybe, maybe it gave me just a little bit of a jump. 83 is right here. Alright. Yeah, that... That definitely got me. That, oh my god. Okay. Yes. Thank you. 
I keep, I keep expecting to like stop talking to someone, and when I turn, that there's someone standing right there. Uh, next is 55, the neighbor. They should just share the tapes. Something opening down there. Okay. Right next eighty eight. Uh, Sounds like the same voice. <laughs> So that sounded like the same voice in those couple doors there. So I wonder... No, that's here. Oh, it's open. Now I got this. It looks like it's a, like a meteorite or something. This makes it work. Yeah, let's just go back to what we're doing, right? We got this mystery device, this mystery orb, this smoking mystery rock, and we're just gonna go back to making our tapes. there. I wonder, I wonder if we're bringing the, the rock with us, so we're going to have it holding, it holding it as we're going through. Chapter 4. Hmm. Okay. Huh. Fuck. 
76 was one we used to take tapes to, so let's go look at 76 and see. No. That's a fire extinguisher. I thought that was... I thought that was something new. A sign or something, right? Oh, I never noticed the windows before. That's not, there's a guy there. You've really done it this time, haven't you? Okay. Want tape? No? Alright. That guy's not bothered by all this crazy going on, the orbs and the lights flickering. He's just like, nah, I'm gonna sit here, keep smoking. I don't care. 96. Oh, it's a tape room. Oh, we'll see what's on the other side, okay. Some kind of like murder dungeon. That's what I think it is. Oh shit. Alright. Oh, Oh shit. We unleash the devil or some other Oh, is there more? Oh, is there... oh, there's a bunch of them. Oh, we just straight up It's a uh... It's the Overfiend. It's the, um... From the Overfiend, it's the Chojin. It's got all the tentacles on the back. You wrote Suki Doji. But there's a bunch of, um... I'm gonna keep going towards it and see what happens. So, uh, yeah, that was, um, hmm. So, I, I thought that was neat. I thought it was really neat. Um, I was expecting something a little scarier, but it, it had that one good jump where the guy walked across the hall. I, I, I thought that was neat. Um, but I like the aesthetic. I like the idea. Uh, I have a feeling I missed something. Um, it doesn't seem like it should have just been as straightforward as that. But, as I usually do, I'm going to talk about the game that... I played, right? But, so, I liked it. It was short. It shouldn't have been much longer. Like, I, I think I've been playing for maybe about 20-something minutes, maybe a half hour, and, and that's long enough. If it had been much longer, I think it would have worn out its welcome. Um, I like the art style, the graphics, I like the sound. Everything was good. I liked it. 
it, it was it was really neat. Uh, sound might sound minded as the dev. I know I said it at the beginning, but um, I'd definitely be interested in whatever else they do. Uh, if they expand on this game or do something else, uh, I'm honestly I'm not sure if they have anything else. I'm gonna have to look. But I like this one. Not the scariest game, but that's okay. They don't all have to be, you know, they don't all have to be, you know, terrifying, right? But uh, I liked it. I'm going to go read about this a little bit. And if there's something that I missed or something I could do differently, I might do a part two and show off maybe like another ending or something. I, I, I have a feeling it probably doesn't, but I have a feeling I missed something. Uh, I do know I got one achievement and there's only three. So there's two other things that I could do. I I'm going to look into it a little bit and see if there is another outcome. If there is, I'll do a part two. Like I just said, I don't need to say it twice. But anyway, uh, thank you for watching. If you made it all the way to the end, I appreciate you watching. If you didn't make it all the way to the end, I still appreciate you watching. But you're not going to hear me say this because you didn't make it to the end. But I do appreciate you watching. If you liked what you saw, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. This is a... Uh, Pretty much all I do are horror games of varying levels of horror, I'm going to say, because not everything's insanely scary. But check out the channel. If you didn't like it, give me a thumbs down. Let me know why. I'm always looking to improve. I appreciate feedback and all that good stuff, right? So anyway, um, again, uh, I'm Sterile Prophet. This has been Night Slink. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Late.